على عهدي على ديني على أرضي تلاقيني أنا لأهلي أنا فديهم أنا دمي فلسطيني 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 أنا دمي فلسطيني Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We know we haven't been on here in a really long time. It's been like what, like three months probably? Three Almost months? Four, mm -hmm. Oh, it's been a long time, but we are yeah. officially back, right? And even though we've been gone, some people have been active on there. A oh yeah, thank you guys for being active and still supporting us. Um, we are back and we are gonna try to keep doing as many videos as we can. We're gonna keep trying to squeeze them in our schedule. We've been really busy lately. You know, Ramadan just ended last week. Uh, we just moved into our new apartment, you know, with our baby and stuff. It's been really, like, hard. Not hard, but like, you know, we just but have a lot of stuff to take like, care of. It's just like, you want, like, we've been thinking about doing the videos, but then it's just like, yeah. this comes up and then it ought to be too late. To Basically, we've just been really busy, but we are going to be back and we are going to hurry up and try hurry up we are going to try to do a lot of videos as many videos as we can throughout the week at least once or twice a week now right mm -hmm. probably a lot more than that i'm gonna try to make it yeah we're right gonna now. try but shoot for at least you know what i'm saying try if we can't try to do a video every day but if we can't most likely we're not gonna be able to do it every day but we'll try right yeah but but so what do you say ramadan has been over Oh, we yeah. did a video like three months ago, like right before, no, like a How, month before it started. Yeah, so Ramadan. like, were you able to reach those goals? Yes. Or, you know what I'm saying? You are? Yes. I feel like um, me and my husband, we got closer together in spirit and our faith because we always pray together. So, <laughs> oh, I thought you were no. like, <laughs> like, oh, he's like, he does not, he doesn't feel close to me, whatever, no, push him no. to the curb. No, um, but I feel like we got closer because we always pray together and you know now that we have our son we want to teach him and raise him to be a faithful muslim you know just full of faith and know our the religion and pray and everything you know children mimic what you do so if he sees us praying when he starts to walk or crawl he's gonna want to pray as well so all right play you know play around jumping yeah. on our backs and stuff like that but it'll be fun yeah right. how was yours oh uh, mine was mine was good it was good um, and we really didn't even get to do anything for Eid because we had to move into our apartment literally the day of, right? the day of Eid. Uh, no, we got the call that we had got the apartment the day Yeah, of. and we had to come like that. And then we had to get day. the U-Haul and things like that. But yeah, Ramadan was cool for me. Like she said, you know what I'm saying? Get closer to God. Um, <laughs> it's like the time where you work on like your good habits and try to keep those habits going after. So let's hope we can keep those habits going on forward. Well, not just not just praying things like that, but like giving back charity. Um, you know what I'm saying? Reading the Quran more. You really got really got to get into that a lot more to get into depth things like that. Yeah. But anyways, so this weekend, right? Tomorrow's Friday. This weekend, we're gonna go celebrate our Eid because we didn't get to celebrate it. Yeah. So. Do you want to tell them where we're going? You can tell them. That. We're going to Sea World in San Diego. And we're gonna stay for the weekend. Because I don't think I've ever been to Sea World. I've I've only been one time. And you know we got our son now, so that's perfect for him. A yeah, good trip for and him. he's just growing up so fast. Very fast. Even though he's only four months, supposed to be five. But yeah, but he's five months, months go by time. fast when you think about it. But when you end the moment, it's slow. Yeah, today was the scariest thing that ever happened. You want to tell them what happened? What? <laughs> our baby <laughs> fell off the bed. Oh my gosh, he literally like. Because he's starting to like crawl, like not crawl, but like, like scoot, scoot, like scoot up, and he scooted himself up on the bed, like way up, and he fell. It was just so scary because the bed was high, but oh, we have carpet, so that's a good thing. Very good thing, but she like her brother crying, so I'm like, <laughs> it's not even that serious. But it was really scary for me. Like I was really scared. Yeah, what else we have to talk about? Um, What's going on in the Middle East? Oh, that's yeah. That's just heartbreaking. With you being a Palestinian, how do you feel? Like, this is not a laughing matter, so don't yeah, no, don't think we're laughing about it. But how do you how do you feel from a Palestinian point of view 
about this. I'm sure your parents know. They're Palestinians. So I'm sure they talk about that stuff like, as you grow up. So how do you feel? Oh yeah, it's. About, I mean, honestly, this is a, this has been happening for a long time. It's just now getting a lot of media attention. Palestine has always been. Um, to them, Palestine has always been getting bombed, as you, some of you guys may know. But I think it's really, it's really sad because that could have been me, my family, my siblings. But it's just little kids, even like babies, parents. You know, they're just I've losing seen that. their family. Members. Like there was like two hundred and fifty, uh, two hundred and fifty people were killed in eleven days, and like sixty-two of those were children. Yeah, that's so. really sad. It's like. It's really not worth it. What are they fighting over? Land, you know? Just, you know, it just, I just hope the world is going to be peaceful one day. I know that will never happen, but. As long as you keep praying and have faith, it will one day. Palestine will rise in the end. Even yeah, if, they're even trying if, to even cancel if it. it. Like, yeah, so, but at the end of the day, it's like, even if it doesn't happen in our lifetime, Palestine Maybe will be next. free. Yeah. Because they're trying to like basically uh, erase will. it out of the whole maps and everything. Because they don't understand happening. like they're going to have to pay for this one day. Even if it's not now. God is the judge of all so. But you got to keep praying. Pray for those that's out there in Palestine right now. That's actually going through it. Because we just looking at it on the outside. Like yeah. we don't, we're privileged living in America. And then I heard that they were giving out like $730 million worth of bombs. Then yeah, the U.S. is supporting it or something else. Yeah, then it, recently I just seen something else. They were saying um, that there were cease firing, I guess. So I guess they're supposed to stop Friday. So uh, tomorrow, sometime tomorrow they're supposed to stop. Uh, but obviously they're going to do as much as they can before Friday comes. And so like, that's a good mm. thing. Not a good, It's not really a good thing, but it's a good thing that they're stopping. Like the so social media is really impacting th their decision to stop because they see all these protests all over the world, no matter what country it is, like Brazil, England, so for all those of over you who are world, on social media, keep sharing it. Share comment well just keep sharing us just keep yeah, sharing anything that knowledge anything that has to do with with what's going on out there keep posting it whatever you do just keep doing it because somebody's going to see it and they don't have no choice but to stop because now their stuff is just exposed mm -hmm. like, how do you how can you fight an army i mean how could you fight against a country that doesn't have any weapons like how do you how does that work yeah, like, it's, it's not, not a war right. it's just what do you call it like Basically, they're attacking, and the others are just innocent people. Yeah, that don't, kind, kind, they don't have any weapons or nothing to literally defend basically themselves. Basically, kind of like what the Nazis did to the Jews. Basically, like they're trying to do that with yeah. the Palestinians, except they can't put them in camps or like that. But like I said, at the end of the day, we can't do nothing but pray on this end. And like I said, one day Palestine will rise. Yep. Above all, not just rise, rise entirely over everything, but. Yeah, so just pray for everybody going through it. Pray for your mothers, pray for your fathers, your family members, and just remember to always spread kindness and love. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Alright, so anything else you wanna? I think about? we talked a little too much today, but we just wanted to catch up with you guys and just let you guys know what's been going on with us. And also share the awareness and uh, tell everybody uh, where we stand with the Palestinians always. You um, have, I mean, you have no choice. No, I'm just kidding. No, I do have a choice, but... You don't. I do have a choice. Because your son is Palestinian. Yeah, and so but I mean, I, like, it's I my know. choice. I stand up for the Palestinian. Anybody who's being oppressed, and not because of the whole Black Lives Matter thing, it's just no point of, like, you can't, it's just not right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I can see if both countries were going to war, and it was just like that, you know, I would have nothing to say because you're both going to war with each other, but... When one country doesn't have any weapons and you're just bombing, bombing them and you're killing children and going on social media and saying it's okay to kill church and children because one day they might be terrorists, that's sick to me. So That just makes them a terrorist because they're the ones that are exactly. you know, blowing up stuff and it's not right. But, but we, all we could do is pray. Yep, and I guess we're going to end the video there, so we'll see you guys. Hopefully at the end of the week, right? Oh no, this this is the end of the week. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow for sure. Uh, if you guys want us to do any other videos, comment down below or just actually if you guys no. Talk what, to us. what we want you to comment down below is 
free Palestine. So when people click on this video and it goes to the comments, that's all they see and they know that. Free Palestine. And they know that we're standing with Palestine always. So drop free Palestine with the flag, your flag, heart, whatever you want to do. Drop it down in the comments. Thank and you. And let us know where you guys are from. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious about that because I know a lot of them are like from like the UK, Bangladesh, things like that. I want to know where everyone's from though. Because uh, I looked at the analytics, the Middle East. Like, everybody that watches it from the mm -hmm. Middle East, that's pretty cool. Like, we got, like, 3% that's in the United States, you know that? Oh, really? That's crazy. But, not to talk too much, <laughs> yeah. let's end the video right there. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thank you.